Hi, everybody. So here, uh, still working on the stringers. <clears throat> Sorry, the stringers for the skins. So you make 32 stringers out of eight pieces of stock. <clears throat> and that takes a nice long time. Once you're done with that, um, you go and you rivet those stiffeners onto the skins. Well, of course, you got to prep the skins and everything, but it's basically crate and then start to make. So here I've already marked all the stringer stock and just simply band sawing away. So the band saw, uh, sorry, the band saw that I bought was, uh, it, it was okay. It was, you know, a little $99 job from Home Depot. And it's good. I think it's a 62 inch saw blade length. Um, of course, it comes with wood, and I bought a metal one. And since then, I've been using that to saw everything. Wait, probably a mistake. Uh, the saw blade's good, and it still works pretty well, but, you know. I'm using it for wood sometimes, which you'll see in a few, you know, so like all the cradles that I've made uh, have either been with the my hand jigsaw, which is okay, or I've just been using my bandsaw there to cut it. Uh, I have a feeling it might be making it dull. But definitely necessary. The only thing I don't like about it, it's, uh, it's a 9 inch, that they call it a 9 inch bandsaw, which means you have 9 inches of clearance, so if you look where that bandsaw blade comes down on the right side, versus uh, you can see where the uh, support and the on-off switch is to the left. That's, you know, you get nine inches. So if you need to cut something bigger than nine inches, you're screwed. Anyway, so here I am. I'm putting all the stringers through the deburring assembly line. File, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Uh, so one uh, one thing to heed warning to about when you're making these stringers. Damn it, why don't I keep calling them stringers? Stiffeners. When you're making these stiffeners, one thing you need to remember is that, um, so they give you a diagram to follow, and the stock works perfectly fine. Uh, but the very tail end of each piece um, you need to be very careful about where you line them up on the stringers themselves just because you use the measurements make sure you measure you know and cut on the outside of it uh, what can happen is you can accidentally offset your st uh, stiffeners a little bit backwards uh, because re now remember you're cutting this stuff out of angle aluminum that already has holes pre-drilled in it right that's for the skins where you drill I mean where you cut those stringers will basically end up telling you know uh, where it starts and stops on the skin and it basically buttresses right up to where the spar is and to where the trailing edge is uh, because of that if you cut it too far in one direction you can accidentally have some stiffener that bleeds into the trailing edge area which has happened to me so yeah just a little word of advice and note to self, uh, don't do that again. It was really only one. I only had one stiffener that had that issue. Uh, and out of 32, I guess that's not bad. But the other ones, you know, you, you, so you cut them all, and then you stack them all up, and you're like, oh, great, this is perfect. I have 32 identical pieces. And I don't think any two were exactly the same length, which is kind of odd. I mean, uh, they were all within an eighth of an inch of each other, but still, it's weird because the way you measure them is by, you have seven holes uh, in each stiffener, and they say, okay, you know, cut, you know, at least three sixteenths of an inch, or however many millimeters that is, away from the center of this hole. So you mark each one of those, and I've got a nice caliper that's set, and then you mark a little line with a, with a marker, or, or a sharpie, whatever. Uh... So, yeah, just be very careful when you cut.
anyways, looks like I'm just going to, well, looks like I'm going to stare at my phone for a while. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, continuing to debird pieces, and I know we'll be doing that for at least a couple of videos, so see you soon.